feng shui for the dining room. Well, here I am in a beautiful dining room area and it has a lovely round table with soft cornered pink chairs um, and I've got some beautiful flowers in bloom here and a piece of art that I would possibly, de well, I would definitely recommend something like this in the dining room. So let me talk about the table first. When we are doing feng shui, um, there's always best practices and the best practices around dining room tables is to have a, a round table. This is the ideal scenario. Now, a lot of houses, this not, may not be suitable. It may not work in your space. It may not work for the number of people in your home. But from a best practice perspective, having a round table is great because it encourages communication it encourages this flow and it's that energy of flow the energy can move around the home and around the table easily but the other thing I love about this table is this beautiful wooden solid um, to table top and um, when we really want to bring in nature into our home it's very nice to have that element of wood in the space What's also nice in, in this particular table is the chairs, this kind of rounded edges on the corners of the chairs. It's very fluid, it's very soft, and it feels really good. Now, please, as you're watching this, you're just taking this as best practice. If your current dining table is square or rectangle, it's not it's fine. It's totally fine. And having this information and joining this pro, this uh, this <laughs> this uh, show is really much more about learning good practices and seeing if you're ever going to upgrade or get a new table. This would be the optimum. So, what do you do with your dining room table, or what's the best optimum kind of um, things to keep in mind in the dining area? Well, I loved this piece of art. This actually little um, uh, quote comes from my own house. Um, and it says gather here with a grateful heart. So in the dining area, I would certainly recommend thinking about imagery or artwork that represents people coming together, sharing food, gratitude, appreciation, and that energy. You'll see I have some beautiful flowers here on the center of the table. Again, it represents flourishing, it represents growth, and it feels really good. And um, best practices with dining rooms, you know, you just make sure that when you walk into the space, it feels clean, it feels clear, it has beautiful energy of the images, the art in the space. You can bring and have maybe a bowl of fruit in the table. Um, oftentimes I see people having a mirror on the wall reflecting the dining table, whether it's a bowl of fruit or some art, um, that's totally fine as well. Um, and, but from a dining room table perspective, this is the optimum. But if you do get a chance to um, have to get a new table and round isn't an option, go for softer corners, like not, not, as, not sharper corners, go for softer corners or s like smoother um, or an oval table. Um, you know, you can just t play a dance with the feng shui and know that, you know, having a square table is not, does not mean that you're doomed. There's a lot of other feng shui things that you can do um, when it comes to feng shuiing your home. And, uh, the table itself is not going to be the B end and, um, of all uh, feng shui errors or mistakes. Um, just enjoy your home, enjoy your family, enjoy the, eating your food together, um, regardless of what shape the table is. <music>